The HTC First is the first phone that ships running Facebook Home. Is the long-rumored Facebook phone worth your time and money? Find out in our review. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wolf. When it comes to Facebook Home, we've heard a lot of bad things and we've heard a lot of, well, okay, it's actually mostly been bad things. But we'll get to that in a bit. Let's kick off the review of the HTC First by taking a look at the specs. The HTC First packs in a Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset with a dual-core 1.4 GHz crate processor and Adreno 305 GPU. For memory, we're looking at 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage, but no microSD slot. The 4.3-inch display is 720p HD with a pixel density of around 342 pixels per inch. The primary rear-facing camera is 5 megapixels with 1080p video capture, and the front-facing camera is 1.6 megapixels. Providing the power is a 2000 mAh battery. HTC is known for build quality, and while this isn't as solid as the flagship HTC One, it doesn't feel cheaply built either. The back and sides have a grippy feel, making you less likely to drop this in the middle of a call. The HTC First comes in a variety of colors, from red like our review unit to white, black, or blue. It fits well in the hand, and the relatively small size of the device makes one-handed operation a breeze compared to a lot of other phones in the same class. Buttons feel sturdy, almost to the point of feeling overly stiff. Unlike a lot of other mid-range Android phones, the display is not a weak aspect of the HTC First. The small 4.3-inch screen size and 1280 by 720 resolution leave us with a pretty sharp pixel density of around 340 pixels per inch, so visuals are much clearer than other similarly specced phones. Colors are vivid without the oversaturation that is clearly apparent in phones from some other manufacturers. Black levels are good with the display having very nice contrast. To test the performance, we ran our usual suite of tests starting with Antutu Benchmark. A total of 10 benchmarks taken at different times left us with an average score of just over 11,500, almost exactly about what we expected from this hardware. Next up was Epic Citadel. In high quality mode, the average frame rate was 54.4 frames per second, while high performance mode produced 55.1 frames per second. Not too bad for 720p resolution. In real-world use, the phone never felt slow, but obviously didn't feel as blazing fast as a high-end phone would. Apps launched quickly and scrolling was smooth. Subway surfers ran smoothly, though it isn't a very demanding game. The software is where the HTC First takes a nosedive. It runs Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, but while it isn't skinned, it does run Facebook Home. Now, it would be easy to call Facebook Home a love-it-or-hate-it piece of software, but looking at the Google Play Store, it doesn't seem like that many people love it at all. For the purposes of this review, though, that isn't exactly the problem. The issue is consistency. Now, while you may not be a fan of TouchWiz or HTC Sense, at least they provide a unified experience. With Facebook Home, it's always apparent that you're running an app on top of stock Jelly Bean. But here's the thing, that may actually be a plus. See, you can simply turn off Facebook Home and suddenly you'll find yourself greeted with a phone that is running stock Android. No, it's not a Nexus and you probably won't see frequent updates, but it is a surprising bonus. In good lighting, the 5 megapixel rear facing camera takes photos that are above average for a phone in this class. In low light, however, images aren't nearly as good. You can use the LED flash, but this isn't going to lead to the nicest photos. The front facing camera has the same issue, but with fewer pixels. The 1080p video capture is unremarkable. While it will capture whatever you point it at, the videos tend to be on the shaky side, and low-light performance is just as poor as it is for still images. Having said that, for a mid-range phone, it's still not that bad. 
The 2000 milliamp hour battery isn't the biggest we've seen, but is definitely more than adequate for most tasks. While I did notice that heavy testing and benchmarks seemed to drain it fairly quickly, in general use it held up pretty well. HTC claims 14 hours of talk time, and if you take that to mean 14 hours of moderate day-to-day -day use, it definitely meets or even surpasses that time. Unfortunately, the battery isn't removable, so if you're looking to carry a spare or pick up an extended battery, you're out of luck. Do you like Facebook? No? Well, then the HTC First definitely isn't for you. The hardware isn't bad, but the general mess on the software side makes it hard to recommend. Sure, you can run stock Jelly Bean pretty easily, but who knows how often it's going to be updated. That said, if you use Facebook more than anything else, this phone might be worth picking up. Want to know more? We have a written companion to this video at AndroidAuthority.com. You can find the link in the description. We have new videos going up all the time, so if you want to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris Wook for Android Authority, and as always, thank you for watching.